Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Clarita from Lydia Blue Designs and today I'm going to be showing you a different resin. Today is going to be talking about a wonderful product called Brilliant Resin. Brilliant Resin, sorry. This is from little-windows.com. I really do like this product. It is a part A, part B, but the different thing about this kind of resin is that it is actually two parts A to one part B, so it's something you may have to get used to if you're using one to one ratio, because this is a two to one ratio um, resin, but I really like it. One thing I like about it is it has no VOCs, no solvents, it's super clear, any batch size is okay, it's very low bubbling, and it's very safe for food contact when cured. Obviously you don't want to eat it or drink it or have anything contact with it while it's not cured. Um, that's the same with any resin. But this one also, if it's thick, can be microwaved. Um, that For 10 seconds, just, just this by itself, not mixed together. But um, so that if this has become really not so liquidy like this, maybe it's become a little thick you can make it where you can mix it really well and um, after it's thinned out with the heat from the microwave so I really like it it comes out really clear it comes out really hard after it's cured um, I really do like it and she has a lot of great Miss Fran, Fran from Little Windows um, has a lot of great tutorials on this but I just wanted to show you this was a really great product and I love to use it. And I purchased this mold from Little Windows also. It's another one of her products. She has uh, sent some of the cups and mixing wands with the resin when you buy them. This little, crop, uh, little mold comes with a cropping template. So you have the perfect size that fits in your mold. Say these little circles are the same exact size that will go in here. And I used this template as instructed on one of these paint chip cards. And I think it does really well. I also used some vinyl just to go to the back side of it because to make it white because this is not <laughs> white and whenever you put this in there whatever you see on the back is going to be on the back of your charm so I decided to put that on the back so these would be white on one side and colored on the other side for these charms that we're going to be doing today with Brilliant Resin from LittleWindows.com so if you want to know how these turn out Keep watching! Alright, so we're ready to mix this resin. Like I said, this is part A. And it has two parts of A to one part of B, so that's 10 and 5. And that's what I'm going to start with today. Um, the 15 milliliters, 10 of A and 5 of B. And it says stir slowly, 2.5 minutes, scrape sides and bottom of cup. And for larger batches, you may want to uh, stir for 3 minutes. And then you just let it sit for 5 minutes and wait for all the bubbles that rise to come to the surface and then you would take your wand and just scoop out the very top layer of your resin that has the bubbles in it that hasn't um, popped on its own yet and then after that you're fine to use your resin in your molds so let's get started to do that so like I said 10 part 10 milliliters part A that's what I'm working on right now You may want to mark your lines 
with a pen or a marker to know exactly where you're going to pour this resin in because once you put it in, sometimes these lines just simply disappear with the resin in there. So to be more accurate, you would want to make sure that you may want to mark that line. Also, it's recommended by Fran from Little Windows to wipe your lid, I mean your rim of your bottle, and replace the lid every single time you use it. That way you don't mix the lids up, and also it doesn't get the product gunky under there, under your lid. So we did 10 milliliters of part A, now we're doing 5 milliliters of part B to make 15 milliliters. Same thing with part B, make sure you're using a different part of your paper towel to wipe the edge of your bottle off so that you can replace the cap without having product on the side of your bottle and gunking it up. And I don't know why, but it went on so good. So there we are. So like I said, let's stir slowly using, um, stirring from the sides and bottom of this container cup. Two and a half minutes. Even though this is very non-toxic, um, according to Fran, you still will want to use your gloves for um, protection on your hands. But if you do get it on your hands, just like any other resin, you want to use um, soap and water to wash your hands until they're no longer sticky to get all of that resin off of you. Because you don't want to have some kind of reaction to the resin. Because I believe there's always a chance of allergy with resin. been two and a half minutes. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for about five minutes and then we'll be back to pour our resin. Alright, so it has been five minutes and we have very, very few bubbles. I'm not even sure if you can see any from on the camera or not. They're really very, very little. And what little they are is so little 
but you can barely see them as it is. So we got rid of those bubbles. Sorry about that. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I put these little papers that are cut out using the little windows template and I'm putting a little bit of white on the back. I'm going to go ahead and add some resin into these molds. And then I'm going to place my pieces of paper in there. Those little strings that are coming out is not a big deal. Once the resin is cured, this is a really nice silicone mold. You can just pick those off and you will not need to worry about that. It will come right off. So you want to kind of put it kind of at an angle and let it kind of float down. So that there's no bubbles trapped under there. And with this mold, it's different than most other molds, this is designed where, as you can see, all of the color is facing up toward me, or toward the camera. Um, the colors is meant to come up because of the way the mold is designed, that what you see is the top of your design. So if you want a uh, Let's say a glitter background. Sorry, if you want a glitter background while using this mold, that would be your first layer. You would want your glitter to go in first, and then you would make a clear layer of resin and then put your photo or anything that you wanted in front of that glitter background inside um, that clear layer. And then after a, after about um, five to ten minutes after these um, objects have already been in this mold, you can come back and check for any remaining bubbles that may have gotten trapped underneath these items, the photo or paper, um, anything that you was wanting inside of the resin that may have trapped some bubbles underneath there. So after a few minutes, we can come back and check. And then after that, these will be ready to go in 12 hours. The great thing about having this resin it is not a 24 hour resin, although you may want to let it sit that long just to make sure that it's completely um, cured. But this one is really good that you can use it, touch it, pull it out of the mold at 12 hours. Most of the one to one ratio um, resins, such as the Art and Glow and the Amazing Clear Class, all of those one to one ratios, they have. Uh, 24 hour cure time this resin even though it's you know it's not a one to one ratio it's a two to one ratio it has it does cure faster it is a 12 hour cure time so if you need something a little quicker um, that is also clear and very hard when it's cured this is a really great resin and I love it for small projects like jewelry and charms and things like that as well. Alright, so I'm going to let these cure and in 12 hours I will come back. Well, actually I'm going to come back in like 5 to 10 minutes to double check to see if there's any bubbles. Then what I will do is have a dry wand, pick those bubbles out, 
And that was the only bubble that I've seen, or maybe this one. But, like I said, I'll let that get um, five or ten minutes time, and then see if there's any bubbles. Just pop those bubbles or remove those bubbles, and then I will come back tomorrow to demold these, and I hope to see no bubbles. <laughs> but, um... We will see how they come out, and I'll show you how they will be hard and very clear um, when they come out. And I hope that you will try Little Windows Brilliant Resin as well. I'll see you in 12 hours. Today is the day we get to take these lovely charms out of this wonderful mold. Um... Let's get started. So yesterday we put our clear layer, we put our little pieces of paper that I had used the template for from littlewindows.com. So let's see how they did. Pop, pop, pop. It'll go a little sideways, but it's very, very clear. You can see it's very hard. The reason I made these little pieces are to make is whatever. I made these pieces so that I could make a bracelet that looked like a beachy thing because these are all beachy colors. Little pieces keep popping on there. I guess there was some glitter in my mold I thought was on the bottom of my mold but that's all right sometimes mistakes happen and I tried to clean it out but then I didn't get to get started right away and that's what happened I think they're so cute thanks for watching if you would like to see me make these into a bracelet, um, leave me a comment below and I will make a video on how I plan to make this into a bracelet. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe, leave me a comment below. Thank you. See you again next time.